Hey, bartender. Whiskey and ice. Who are you, Chico? I ain't seen you here before. For the last few hours, I've been called Chaser. Same name as the guy on TV. Actually, I'm sort of afraid the TV guy and me might be one and the same person. My memory only goes back a few minutes. The only thing I remember is landing on this barrack, and then these pathetic beggars, uh... Well, you came to the right person. Nobody knows more about this slum than old Mike Gomez. I could tell you a few things, but not here. Follow me, Chico. A little paranoia never hurts, especially if the family's breathing down your neck. Remember that, Chico. Whatever you do in Montak City, watch out for the number six. You never know where some Sonny from the family is beating around. So you're something like the black sheep of the family? Why don't you turn your back on them and go your own way? Well, yeah. If it was my choice, I'd be long gone. But the family isn't very enthusiastic if some son decides to go his own way. We all got this small metal beast implanted inside us, called a spider. If we get too far from the city, the spider explodes. Can't you get rid of it somehow? Too many secrets at once, Chico. The only thing you need is my advice. Turn around, make a break for it through that door, and don't stop till you see the first palm trees. Get out of this city as fast as you can and while you still can. But what do you mean, I... Hear me, Chaser. You are the perfect candidate for a spider. And if you don't split this popsicle joint, there's a probability close to a certainty that you'll get one. Chaser in person. It's my honor to welcome such a celebrity to my humble abode. We had a Ralph Nader double here recently, but nobody recognized him. Whereas you, Mr. Chaser, were recognized even by Tommy. This isn't happening. Don't be so simple, Mr. Chaser. Your fame and price increase with every news report. Murders, hijackings, and now, Majestic. Man, you are a gift from heaven. War with Yakuza is about to start, and a guy with your skills can only be useful to us. It sounds like I don't have much choice. Follow me. Full anesthetic state reached. Full pressure stabilized. Heart rate regular. No signs of abnormal activity. Rain waves be more than delta. Subject prepared for operation. Your reaction to the implantation of the spider was... was quite abnormal. 
I think that's the way to put it. For a while there, we thought we were gonna lose you. But it came out okay in the end. Welcome to the family. Make yourself at home. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Don't leave the city. The item in your neck can cause some trouble. From now on, you gotta be damn careful. The spider has something like a switch. If you try to go against Valero, or commit some other hot-blooded stupidity, he can blast you. What should I do according to you? The point is to keep quiet and do whatever they want from you. After a few successful jobs, they'll leave you in peace. Then there'll be time to get rid of the spider and Vamoose out of the city. And now get up, Chico, and follow me. They're expecting us in the kitchen. Sit down and listen. We got a message that the Japs contacted somebody from the island. Somebody they call Big Dragon. His presence in Montax City can imbalance the scale to our disadvantage. This building is our target. From the third floor of this barrack, you have a wonderful view of the flat where the Japs will meet the man from the islands. The good news is that they're just removing debris from the falling Majestic. The bad news is that it belongs to Yakutsa. Repair work is going on around the clock, workers are there by night, and even worse, there is security. This is a big problem. If they find out they're wired, the whole mission will bust wide open. It's got to be done without a single shot. Mr. Chaser will sneak in and by means of this facility find out what Agawa is preparing. How do I get inside and how can I orient myself afterwards? Our building plans were supplied by the main engineer of the construction company that's doing the repairs. Gomez will be in the car monitoring the position of your spider on the computer and will guide you if you need it. Can my exact position be monitored using the spider? Only for a short distance. The spider's signal isn't strong enough for us to locate you in HQ during the whole mission, which is why I gotta come with you. But a signal for your spider to explode, I can send all the way to Alaska. Got that? So if you have no further questions, then go. Okay, here we are. Do you see the house? That one with the scaffolding next to it? Yeah, I see it. That's your target. The actual meeting will take place in apartment 35 in the opposite building, which means the best place for wiring the two will be the bathroom or Ogawa's workroom on the second floor. Don't make any noise, and watch out that nobody spots you. You copy? I'm not deaf. I hope not. We didn't find out how many security cameras are in the house, but we know they're not infra, so you'll be able to play hide and go seek in the dark if you have to. There should be four security guys, but if my guess is right, two of them are slackers. The other two will be at the house. I assume the only route is through the side entrance around the two slackers. Yeah, that's right. I don't think they'll be leaving the main entrance open during the night. I'll see you on the locator. Once you get close to the door from the other side, I'll distract their attention. Okay. If you get lost inside the building, I'll call you and give you directions. So you got all the necessary information. Now it's up to you. Oh yeah, and one more thing. If I hear any alarm, any shooting, or you get more than 300 meters away from me, you got three seconds to pray. You're a funny guy. A real barrel of laughs. Just remember what I'm telling you. <laughs> 